Smash that like button for me. We're going to get right into the news. Even though there's not a lot of news, we're going to get right into it, guys. Okay, so we got Joe Budden maybe having problems with Cincinnati Santana. I hope not, man, because, like, they have a kid together now, and they, I, I like them together. I like that Joe's happy and, you know, everything. Um, then we got Eminem and Logic's record, Homicide. Crazy. I mean, fans react to that. Suge Knight recalls when Tupac wanted to fake his own death. I mean, he's hanging on to this Tupac thing to keep his name alive Javante Davis compares uh, something to Nipsey um and that's the, yeah that's what's going on right now let's get right into this Jordan Tower JT News hit that bell hit that subscribe button I love you guys and I hope you guys have an amazing Friday you made it through the week let's get it smash that like button smash that subscribe button I need you guys okay I need you I appreciate you okay so let's get right into it so um Javante Davis, uh, he was calling out women that want a man like Nipsey but won't get it showing TNA, okay? Basically, uh, and then he tried to get real little, a little lyrical, <laughs> lyrical Javante. And don't forget, he's dating um, Ari, who is G Herbo's baby mother. Lower London got 1,300 pics not showing her ass and tits, but you females want a nip, okay? Stupid. Who, people were saying that that shots at Ari, but who cares? I don't know. Joe Budden's fiance since Santana deletes all traces from social media. I mean, they look they look happy, man. They have, they have a kid together. They're living together. But you know, you know, girls sometimes they they take it a little too far. I'm sure Joe will reel it back in. I mean, he seems really happy. He did propose to her and everything, but she wiped him totally off her page. Or it's just for love and hip hop. I'm sure it's something just for love and hip hop to have a storyline. I mean, they're making money so many different ways now. I guess, you know, you just got to play the game. Um, then we got Suge Knight. He recalls a time when Tupac wanted to stage his own death weeks before the murder. Well, he did release an album called Machiavelli, where that's about a guy who did fake his own death and came back after an, a certain amount of time. I think it was like 14 years or something. He would, you're able to come back from faking your own death or something. The time has passed. Uh, what was it called? Where you won't get in trouble. Um, a lot of conspiracy theories always say that, you know, Tupac really faked his own death and went out of the country. Eh, come on. You know, Suge Knight's been trying to keep this going for a long time, but uh, Suge Knight claimed this in a newspaper article. And he was like, uh, we was in Maui, you know what I mean? And Pac, like, never been to Maui. So, like, he got to talking about faking his own death. Like, and Pac was more down for doing, like, the, the last little videos and shit of him dying all in white. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, you know, I Am Mad If She Was Filmed All in White. But, you know, he's just doing this to stir up controversy like he always does. Uh, there's no, uh, you know... He did not fake his own death. Uh, fans are reacting to Eminem and Logic's record, and Chris Dilla is actually on it too. The the guy who imitated Eminem, they kept him on the end, so that's pretty dope. Um, but uh, really good record, man. Uh, Logic and Eminem walking out of the studio after recording "Homicide." You know, it's a guy walking with fire on him. Uh, people are buying. You know, like everybody's liking this record. I like it a lot. Logic and Eminem use Chris Dilla Eminem impression at the end of the "Homicide." Yo, that's awesome. I thought that was pretty cool that Eminem uh, has a sense of humor, you know, and can do that. Uh, you're at the Eminem and Logic song. Let's see. This is a new generation of hip hop fans are delusional. Anything lyrical they say is trash. Everything Eminem and Logic is homicide is true. It's over their heads. It's true, man. Um, even uh, Russ gave it up. He said that that shit is fire. It is fire, man. I, I suggest you guys go check it out. And I also suggest you guys fix your credit yourselves with Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. You can do it yourself. You log on. It's free. Okay. These are the credit agencies that are controlling our lives. Okay. And you can dispute the negative remarks on your. Uh, I'm just giving this free game, man, because like. I, you know, and I, I'm going to switch it to something else tomorrow. It's just that I just finished moving, so I haven't had a chance to focus. I, if you've noticed, the news has been a little, eh. You know, the past six, seven days, it's been a little, eh. You know, it's been okay. It's not just me. The news has been bad, but, you know, it's time to focus. I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Taylor with JT News. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to smash that like button. Smash the like button and smash that subscribe and the bell. I'll check you on the next one. Peace.